Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve a problem from today, from this morning's leak code contest. You can see that there's not a lot of votes because this is a brand new problem. I'm also going to try to solve a new problem from the afternoon leak code contest later in the day. So stay tuned for that. So this is a mostly simple explanation for a problem. We are designing a system that reserves seats at a restaurant. And they're going to give us an input value n, which tells us how many total seats are available. These seats are numbered from 1 through n. We only really have three main methods or functions that we need to implement. So the first one is just the constructor that initializes our seat manager class. The input to this constructor is just going to be the input value n, which tells us how many seats that are available. And again, these are numbered from 1 through n. The next method or function is reserve. We are reserving a seat. Now there's no input to this method. So what seat are we going to reserve? How do we determine that? Well, we're always going to determine the smallest numbered seat that is available. Okay. And whatever that seat happens to be, we're going to return that value. So we're starting to see since we're going to continuously be wanting the minimum values, maybe a min heap is going to be helpful for us in this case, right? A data structure like a min heap. You could also use a tree, like a regular binary tree, but I'm going to stick with a min heap. The third function is going to be unreserved. So we're given an arbitrary seat number. It could be anything from 1 through n, and we're going to unreserve that seat. So for example, if we had a reserve of, let's say maybe we had two seats reserved, 1 and 2, right? And they gave us a seat number of, let's say, 2. They want to unreserve that seat. What are we going to do? We're going to take this 2 value or the seat and remove it from our reserved selection, right? And that's pretty much it, right? So we want to do this efficiently. I'm going to tell you how efficiently I'm going to solve this problem. I'm going to do the constructor in O of one time, and I'm going to handle the reserve and uh, unreserve functions in log n time. And we can actually do this pretty easily. Let me tell you why. The They explain to us in the input they explain to us below in the problem description, you can't really see it right now, but they explain that the reserve call is always going to be valid. Meaning if let's say we have zero seats available, we don't, we just don't have any seats available. Reserve is never going to be called in that case, right? So reserve is only going to be called if seats are actually available. And unreserved, similarly, unreserved for the arbitrary seat number is only going to be called for seats that are already reserved. So this seat number is always going to be a valid seat number. So you might think because we have reserve and unreserved sets, we need two min heaps, but th that's actually not the case because since these calls are always going to be valid, we don't have to keep track of what's been both reserved and unreserved. We only need one min heap available and the single min heap is going to keep track of only the unreserved uh, seats available. So the ones that are have been unreserved, we're going to have a single min heap for that. And so as we pop the minimum, uh, as we continuously pop the minimum, right, we're going to be calling reserve. So we're going to want to take the minimum from the unreserved min heap and pop it. We know we can do that in log n time because min heaps are efficient like that. So popping from this is going to be log n. That's good. And also when we call unreserve, we're unreserving it. So we're, we're, we're basically taking a seat that's that's currently reserved and then adding to our min heap, right? So we know adding to a min heap is also log n time. So that's going to be really efficient. Okay, so now we know how we're going to reserve. We know how we're going to unreserve. How are we going to initialize this unreserved min heap? Well, we know min heaps are kind of implemented with arrays, right? We're going to take initially every seat is unreserved, right? So we're going to take one two, three, all the way to n and say that these seats are initially unreserved, right? We're going to do that in order. We're just going to add these values to an array in order. We're going to call that our minimum heap. We know heapify is a function that that basically takes an array and turns it into a heap, right? It basically sorts it into an order that is a valid heap. That algorithm takes O of n time. Is that necessary in this case? Is this already a valid heap? Is a sorted array already a valid heap? That's my question to you. Let's take a let's investigate that. We know that a heap can be visualized as an array, right? Where the first value is going to be the root, right? One is at the root. The left child is going to be the two. 
the right child is going to be the three and so on and so on, right? Let me ask you, is this a minimum is this a valid minimum heap already, or do we need to run the linear algorithm called heapify on this? Well, take a look. The minimum is at the root. All of the children are bigger than it. So therefore, this is already a valid minimum heap. So we don't actually need to run that linear algorithm heapify. So with that being said, let's jump into the code. It's actually going to be really short, shorter than you would expect. So like I mentioned, we only need to keep track of the unreserved seats because all the function calls are always going to be valid. We don't need to keep track of the ones that are already reserved. So we're going to initialize this heap one through n. So with Python, we can do it like this, i for i in range uh, 1 through n plus 1 because n plus 1 is non-inclusive. So this is just going to take... Uh, this is called list comprehension. This is basically just going to initialize this array from 1 through n. And that's all we need to do. So the constructor is going to be a linear time uh, function. Now to call reserve, we're going to take from our min heap unreserved and we're going to pop from that min heap and then return that value. So how do we do that in Python? Well, we can do the heap q class, heap q heap pop from our min heap, which is self dot unreserved. And we're just going to pop from it, right? Automatically, it's going to pop the minimum value. And then we're going to return that minimum value that we pop. And to reserve an arbitrary seat number, we just need to insert into the min heap. We don't need to return anything. So we're just going to take that heap Q heap push onto our self dot unreserved minimum heap. Since we're unreserving a seat, we're going to take that seat number and then insert it into our min heap. So there you have the entire code for this solution. I bet it was easier than you expected. So we used a min heap to solve this problem. It can also be solved using a tree set or tree map, right? So a, a regular binary search tree could also be used to solve this problem efficiently, right? This could be done in log n and this could be done in log n with a tree set. Python doesn't have a tree set, so that's why I used a min heap, but we could even implement our own tree set if we really needed to. It's possible an interviewer would want you to be able to implement your own data structure for a problem like this one. But I hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It supports our channel a lot and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.